Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Deep End Podcast, the drippiest podcast in the whole wide world. Let's let's talk about our two minute topic. How do you guys feel about I'm still on this podcast though. How do you guys feel about parents not letting parents not letting not teaching their kids how to drive or letting parents letting their kids just go out and get their license without no car, no nothing. You're just supposed to do it yourself. I'm going to tell you how I feel because that's me right now. I don't have no license, no nothing. I I could drive without a license, but, you know, come on now. That's just going to get you to 25 to life, right? Isn't that the, um, what's it called? If you get caught. Anyway, look, this is how I feel. If you don't teach your kids how to drive at a young age, probably like 16, 15, trust me, I would have been learning how to drive. But my mom wants to um blame things on bad grades, I guess. I mean, you really don't need high school if you really think about it. I mean, come on now. You... Everything in this world, the way you can make monies and stuff without getting a corporate job or something like that, I feel like. Or, like, you could go work at Home Depot. I mean, they didn't ask me for my freaking whatever that's called, diploma or whatever. But, I mean, if you want to make good money and you don't have, like, no editing and stuff, then go ahead, graduate high school. To me, it wasn't really a big deal. I miss high school, actually. But... Back to what I was saying. I feel like if you teach your kids how to drive at a young age, like 15, 16 and stuff, then it's all good. They won't. I feel like people in later in life that learn how to drive are more afraid of the road and stuff. You know, younger, the younger is more better, probably, you know, make mistakes and stuff. But I don't know how to put it. If you're older and You don't know how to drive and stuff, and you're getting on that freeway. I mean, especially if you have, like, driving anxiety or whatever. I mean, I I feel bad for you. That's not me in my case, but, you know, pretty sure I have anxiety. I don't like talking to people. I get nervous around people and stuff. I mean, after everything that people's doing and stuff, I don't really trust people like that. Only a certain amount of people. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You already know the vibes and stuff. I really didn't get deep into the driving thing like that. Just, eh, eh, eh. Maybe if you guys support me in my podcast, maybe I would. No. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We got a video today. Um, Baby Slime Trust. Let's get to it. Heard the song, never the video. They got hammers in this video, bro. Look, he's like carrying like two on his shoulder. What is going on? Look. And they just having a casual conversation. <laughs> I mean, look. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't really be scared. I'd be having a conversation too. Like, hey, bro, don't point that at me, though. Don't point that at me. Bring a person from the Serb, bring a person from the suburbs in there. He is le- he is sweating. He's sweat pits under his arms. He's shaking. N- nice to meet you. <laughs> I mean, hey. You know every hood has that white boy right there. But bring a person from the suburbs. As soon as he leaves that building, he's calling the cops. Who snitched? Who snitched? You know exactly who snitched. <laughs> Song is hard. Oh, 
did he just make someone in a live video? Did he just make someone in their live video? Oh, I didn't see that. It went by too quick. That song was hard. I, I, this is like my second favorite song by him. Because they're scared. <laughs> uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. You already know the vibes. Yes, sir. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share to your friends and stuff and all that. All right. Make sure you subscribe, bro. And I'm out.